This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by PorcupineRealEstate.com Now, I'm not sure that that's what will happen. Maybe there will be a pumpkin fest next year. I hope so, and I hope that it's uh, an event that does not involve any taxpayer expenditure this time. Now, having spewed a little vitriol, I do want to give at least some backhanded credit where it's due toward the Keene establishment. First of all, there was a situation where... Uh, this dangerous man actually did a couple of things right, or at least avoided doing a couple of bad things. Uh, this is Ken Miola. He's chief of uh, Keene's police department. Uh, I think a few uh, free Keene-affiliated people showed up at his press conference right after the riots, uh, and he did actually, for the, practically the first time I know of, answer some of Ian Freeman's questions in public. Would you issue an apology to the people in this I'm not going to establish an apology to the And he didn't make any moves to try and expel the uh, Liberty Press from his, uh, from his event. There was one arrest of a Liberty activist during the riot, from what I understand. Now you got a rake. I'll ask this, my friend needed a break so I could actually feel like I wasn't just sitting around doing nothing. Graham Colson. But I don't know what happened since I've never seen any video. I will withhold judgment. Although it sounds like the police actually ha handled themselves fairly inappropriately during the riots, that's to be expected since they have no market signals with for, you know to react to. A monopoly is always going to behave badly. I will say, I still haven't heard any stories of them actually injuring anybody. And I think that's something. It's not what you would have seen in a lot of towns in America under this police state. I get the impression there really are guys on that force that would like to avoid using excessive force. The rioting was successfully confined to areas outside the pumpkin festival itself. And, uh, from what I understand, the people who run Pumpkin Fest, uh, the uh, board or whatever, ha have uh, taken, or at least are considering taking some kind of action against that lady who uh, who uh, was, you know, the, the point man uh, in, you know, in charge of Pumpkin Festival, the executive type person. Uh, she had assaulted a reporter, so they, I think they're, uh, they're either taking her down or they're looking at taking her down. So that's the Keene establishment taking action in, in, the, in the right direction. Hopefully she will leave the state. Gosh, did I really just say that? Uh, I guess I've been one of the people who sort of questioned that uh, free stater line you sometimes hear. We'll, we'll get uh, pro-government people to leave the state. We'll inspire them to leave. Well, this isn't, a, this isn't just a pro-government person. This is a, a lady who's guilty of assault and attempted censorship. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's actually reasonable to want her to, to, to split. You know, she's guilty of more than just having some bad ideas. All right, enough Ridley ranting for one riot. I hope the free keeners who got publicity in connection with this mishap managed to trigger some proper publicity for the Free State Project in the process. You're moving to New Hampshire, right? Well, then you'll want a free state realtor who's been here fighting for your freedom for years. Privacy, low taxes, <laughs> shooting and growing food on property where you want to be left alone. The folks at PorcupineRealEstate.com understand these needs. They have a good feel for urban New Hampshire, too. Check them out. PorcupineRealEstate.com